Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. With QuickBooks Online Plus or Advanced, you can track the time employees and contractors work and use it to calculate project profitability and pay employees with QuickBooks Payroll. Let's go over best practices on how to set up time tracking, enter time that your employees and contractors worked, run time reports, and then run payroll using the time you recorded. If you want to learn how to set up a project and assign income and other costs to it, check out this other video. First, let's set up your workers' hourly costs. Select Projects. Note that your navigation may look like this. And then Employee Hourly Rate. You'll only see W-2 employees on this list. You set up contractors later. If you don't see an employee, select Payroll, Employees to set them up. Select Add. Then select the calculator icon. If you use QuickBooks Payroll and you've already set up an employee, QuickBooks will automatically enter their hourly rate and taxes. If you use payroll and haven't set up an employee's pay yet, we recommend you do that first before setting them up in this window. If you don't use QuickBooks Payroll, enter your hourly costs for the employee. Enter their hourly rate and any other costs you want to capture. Select Add, then Save. Set up all your employee's costs, then select Done. If you want to track the time contractors work on a project, go to Vendors, select the contractor's name, and then select Edit. In the Cost Rate field, enter what the contractor charges you by the hour. If you charge your clients for the contractor's time, enter the hourly rate you bill them in the Billing Rate field. Then select Save. Now that you've set up your employees and contractors, you're ready to record some time. You can enter the time they work in QuickBooks or in QuickBooks Time. Note you may see different options on the timesheet depending on whether they're an employee or a contractor, and also whether or not you use QuickBooks Payroll. Make sure to enter the project in the Customer or Project field. After you save the time, you'll see the number of hours worked next to the project. You might not see the costs right away though. That's because by default, QuickBooks only includes costs for employees that you've actually paid. If you want to include costs for all time, regardless of whether or not you've paid your employees or contractors for that time, select the Employee Rate dropdown and select Hourly Costs. Select a project to learn more about your time and other costs on the project. Then select Time Activity. From here, QuickBooks breaks down the time you've recorded by month, and if you select an arrow, Employee. Select the next arrow to view individual time entries. You can also divide up the time in other ways, like by week or service, and you can group the time by employee or service as well. You'll also see total time, costs, billable time, and billable amounts for each grouping. When it comes time to pay employees for the work they've performed, the steps are different for contractors and employees. For contractors and payroll processed outside of QuickBooks, you record the payment with an expense, check, or bill, depending on how you paid them. Note that this transaction by itself does not move money from your bank account to the contractor or employee. Also, when you record the payment, it's important to not include the project in the Customer Project field. That's because if you already recorded the time separately for the project, the cost will appear twice on some job costing reports. If you use QuickBooks Payroll, run payroll like normal. Go to Payroll, Employees, then select Run Payroll. QuickBooks automatically enters the number of hours recorded for each employee. Confirm all the information is correct. Select Preview Payroll. Look everything over one last time, and then Submit Payroll. Now you're ready to record time spent completing projects and pay the people who worked for you.